Hello guys, welcome back. This is more 49ers news. And on this 49ers news, this is interesting by ESPN. As you can see here on NinersNation.com. This is an article. Golden Nuggets. All right. ESPN believes the 49ers will regret passing on Mac Jones. I wonder why. Um, this is by Cole uh, uh, Posley. So, let's have a look. Let's read the article. After ESPN's Adam Shifter uh, reported the 49ers were fined, fans, even some media members, begged the question of whether Carl Shanahan lied. There were even articles debating the topic. On Saturday, Shifter uh, corrected himself, saying the 49ers didn't have OTAs taken away and that it was voluntarily cancelled. But those pitchforks away, fellas. Okay. ESPN report believes Patriots will be sending a big thank you note to 49ers on passing Matt Jones. I believe the Patriots will be sending a big thank you note to the 49ers for passing on Jones with the number three overall draft pick. He slid all the way to New England at number 15 and has made a strong first impression on coaches and players. He has swung it to him that I didn't know that he had a, uh, he had a first receiver, Kendrick Bourne said. He's out there uh, conf confined and uh, what is what you need to in a quarterback. Uh, good in, uh, good energy, awesome guy, comes to work and you just can feel his energy and leadership already. Um, six former owners who need a bounce back in the, uh, in the bounce back year in 2021. Uh, Tart played in only eight games last year and re with the 49ers on a one-year deal this off-season. It wasn't a look to start, but uh, Travis Moore's Tawny's Achilles pushes Tart up the depth and chart and likely into a starting role. He was very good in 2019 and regained that from while staying available for the whole season, would bow a relieve then 49ers secondary. Uh, PFF got it wrong, listing Solomon Thomas worst 49ers draft back. Uh, AJ Jenkins, not on Solomon Thomas, were 49ers worst NFL draft pick since 2006. Okay. It's possible PFF's uh, Michael Renner, who wrote the article, wasn't quite in tune with some of the uh, earlier graphs. Uh, San Francisco made during the NFL draft during the 2000s. Defensive tackle, defensive tackle, uh, Kim Wan, blame you, selected number 29 overall in the 2008 NFL draft. Flamed out after three seasons, he should have received some uh, consideration. But the clear cut winner that designed the PFF dished out uh, should have been on none other than Leon. Uh, Illinois wide receiver AJ Jenkins, not Thomas. Jenkins selected at number 30 in the 2021 NFL draft. Should have been a first round selection, maybe a third round experimental pick at best, but nothing more. Um, instead, then general manager Trent Bingle kicked off the 2012 49ers draft class with Jenkins, and that entire class has to go down as one of the worst in recent Niners history. Okay, five predictions for the 49ers rest of the NFC in 2021. Number four, Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson wins 2021 MVP award. The 49ers fans probably won't like to think about this, but even but even they can acknowledge the Seattle Seahawks would be a 500, uh, 500 team if they weren't for quarterback Russell Wilson being the player he is. Wilson has stubbed last year in a favour of the Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers despite the former passing of a career high of 40 touchdowns a year ago and being the mark of consistency uh, ever since 2021. And it seems to be a regular uh, regular yearly overcut. Wilson gets short changed on the MVP uh, votes anyway. The position where the 49ers must add depth after training camp cuts. Uh... The 49ers uh, should have a advantage of its elite assistant coach and getting more bodies to mould into this year's Kerry Hyder Jr. Uh, the 49ers could do this by first re-signing Dion Jordan, who had three sacks and five quarterback hits in 2020. Then they could look around the league at team who selected a top prospect in the draft and might be looking to move on their veterans like Tampa Bay's William Gulchin, uh Joe Tyrant, and or Buffalo's Mario Anderson. It's a big one. But we'll find out. No one knows nothing yet. We could draft this person, draft that person, and do all that stuff. But at the moment, I feel, me personally, I feel we've got a strong, uh, a strong team so far. Um, it's pretty good. I like it. Everyone else likes it. Um, but time will tell, guys. Time will tell. 
Um, I think Trey Lance is a perfect fit for the 49ers. I don't think Matt Jones is. Um, when you watch back on Matt Jones's like college highlights, good or bad, you know, um, he, he's a bit like Jimmy G in a sort of way. He's he's a little bit. He's not really mobile enough. Trey Lance is mobile enough. McKenna and them both are great anyway. Um, but yeah, no, nah. I'm great with Lance. Thanks. Um, leave a comment. Tell me, tell me down below. Tell me what you think. Um, do we think we've made the wrong decision, or we've made the right decision? You leave your comments. You tell me what you think. Uh, thank you very much to the 38 subscribers. Really humble and fortunate. And really appreciated. Um, and if you're new, subscribe. So there's a lot more 49ers news during the week and gaming stuff and all sorts. And um, yeah, thanks very much, guys. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.